Hey there, how are you? I am Pavani. In this video, let's talk about how to become one of the top 5% software programmers. The insights I'm going to share in this video are the ones that I have learned over my professional and academic journey and I am making this video hoping this could be useful for you. Whether you are a student who is aspiring to become a programmer or someone who is already serving the role and you want to continuously learn and improve your coding skills, then this video is for you. It contains ways to improve your generic coding skills and you can use them no matter if you are a web dev, blockchain dev, data engineer or data scientist because based on your role, the type of product that you are building is going to change but the common thing is you got to write some code. So the tips I am sharing here apply to all the roles that needs coding as primary work. So let's dive into it. First thing here is to achieve the fluency in your primary programming language. If you are an experienced professional, you should already have one primary language which you have been working on. But if you are a beginner, you can choose one based on the role that you are aspiring for. C, C++, Java, Python, you can choose one which is popularly used in your field of work. But most probably you might already have this one. So all you need to do now is to sit down and get the fluency in that. It is really important that you know what things your programming language can do and how to do them. If you are already in this, it won't take much time. I want you to revise all the concepts that you already know. Fundamentals of programming, IO, uh, conditional statements, loops, abstract data types. Then go to advanced concepts. Make sure you are comfortable with your uh, programming languages, structures, semantics and flow of execution. If you already know them, quickly revise them once. If you don't know them, study them now but ensure that you are achieving this fluency in at least one programming language which is primary in your domain. Next thing you need to do is to develop your problem solving skills. Here you need to learn algorithms and data structures and you might want to practice uh, problem solving in sites like um, HackerRank, LeetCode, etc. So I don't want you to uh, delve deep into anything here. I just want you to be able to implement basic algorithms and data structures by using your programming language and aware of how to calculate uh, time and space complexity and make sure you are implementing them in the optimized manner. Once you complete that, start practicing in one of the above sites as part of your continuous learning process. Don't get into solving complex problems initially. If you are a beginner, it's okay to start with uh, very easy problems like string reversal or even matrix multiplication. Slowly increase the difficulty level from easy to medium and then to advanced. And while solving uh, coding problems in these sites, I don't suggest you to spend hours and hours on one coding problem or uh, a hackathon, something like that. We are not really preparing for Google Code Jam or AMC competitions here. The whole purpose of this step is to improve your uh, problem solving skills. I personally give more weightage uh, for your uh, project implementation skills than your complete your coding skills. So I don't even suggest you to solve one problem per day here. Uh, maybe you can do um, one problem per two days or two problems per a week is also fine. So this is to give your brain the exercise it needs every week on the problem solving and critical thinking. We are spending the same constant amount of time on this every week, but as we move forward from week to week, the level of complexity of problems that we can solve on the same amount of time will increase. We can see linear improvement over the time and on the long term, if we are really consistent, we could see the exponential improvement because that's how learning works. So the third and most important part is getting your product development skills, implementing the actual project. Why is this the most important step? Obviously, that's why companies hire programmers to develop actual uh, real world products. And how do you get your product development skills? By implementing some product. Of course, again, no need to be getting all into developing some big product in your first go. Not possible, right? You can start by doing some very uh, basic project that is related to your role. If you are a web developer, you can start by doing some very basic web application. If you are into game development, 
you can build a very basic game uh, do a simple app if you are into mobile app development uh, build a basic pipeline if you are a data engineer or you can do uh, some very uh, simple heuristic model if you are into data science start by uh, doing a simple application complete that and then get into some advanced project uh, which is what you call your portfolio project so whether it is the simple one or advanced one i want you to develop your project by following the best practices so write down the requirements maybe split them into features plan the work in each of the feature and plan the time duration that could take for each part of the work and try to do a documentation with all of your planning you know just how things happen in real world project then start developing your features one by one uh, practice uh, maintain a centralized git repository and practice committing changes to there and mark down your progress as you move forward update your planning document with necessary changes suppose you don't know how to develop one particular feature take help either from online portals from seniors colleagues or from friends who are developers themselves and the product should be real time it should not be just some folder in your laptop which executes in local host so once the development completes we are moving that to the cloud so we'll be talking more about this in the next section of the video don't feel overwhelmed here i just want you to do a uh, one end to end project because once uh, you do one product like this uh, you not only understand the complete life, uh, life cycle you will get that confidence and next time onwards it will always be a piece of cake for you to do other projects only first one will be difficult so after that uh, whatever the project you are working on whether it is company project or your personal project it won't be black box to you you could able to see the big picture the next skill you need to obtain is devops when i say this i don't want you to get the complete uh, devops engineer skill set but there is always some devops work a developer should be doing uh, to complete his responsibilities for example every real world project has version controlling to clone add and commit the changes to central repository you should be knowing how git works and all of its commands and to productionize uh, your product uh, you might want to containerize it first so you should be aware of some tool like docker or podman here so in this step i am giving four tools you need to learn uh, to do your devops work as a developer let's go through them one by one first one is you should be knowing basic git commands when and why to use them second one uh, you should be aware of basic to medium level of shell commands in linux third one is docker best practice is to containerize your application while productionizing it uh, sorry before productionizing it and just start by developing some simple application learn to containerize it using docker deploy it once you are able to do that you will understand the basic idea of how this thing works uh, then practice containerization for your advanced application fourth one is jenkins so when you do, uh, when you commit the changes to your git repository uh, you don't want to manually do all the building integration tests and deployment every time you want to automate this stuff jenkins is a fantastic tool out there that offers automation capabilities to do necessary ci cd tasks again learn the tool try to do some simple pipeline for your ci cd and then try to implement the same for your advanced project so whenever you got stuck in the in using about tools you can always take the help of an actual devops professional uh, remember the purpose here is for you to understand the big picture and to know how these things work in real world usually we have a devops professional helping you to set up your ci cd uh, pipeline but for some companies uh, they are expecting developers who can do both development and deployment so knowing this stuff only adds your value and that's the last part now 
doing all these things might feel overwhelming but you can always grow by doing them in small quantity each day and if you are being consistent you will eventually get there so all the best and thanks for watching